what's going on guys, it's Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video we are going to go over the top 30 pre-code crime comic books. This comes straight from comicbookinvest.com's article and we're going to do something a little different here. We're doing a true collaboration. I'm going to give you the top 26 and then from that point you head over to comicbookinvest.com which will be a link in the description of this video to see the final four pre-code crime comic books. Now let's get into the video. Coming in at number 30, we have The Killers Number 1. This was published in 1947 by Magazine Enterprises. Gorgeous cover by L.B. Cole. Features three different stories where a small-time hood advances in the underworld until he's part of Babyface Nelson's gang. Another story where detectives try to trick a killer into confessing into the murder of a schoolgirl. And Private Eye Ace is hired to recover jewels that were stolen by a killer. The CGC census currently shows the highest grade is an 8.5 and there's only one, it's a universal blue label. And at number 29 we have Thrilling Crime Cases number 49. This was published in 1952 by Star Publications, another classic cover by L.B. Cole. This is the final issue of the series, it becomes Shocking Mystery Cases in issue number 50. The CGC census currently shows the highest grade at 9.4 and there are two universal blue labels. At number 28, we have Shock Suspense Stories number 12, published in 1953 by EC Comics. Features cover art by Albert B. Feldstein. In this issue, a drug addict murders his father in order to get his fix. There is currently one 9.8 blue label on the CGC census. There's also a raw copy in fair condition for sale for $229 at the time of this video. And at number 27, we have Underworld Crime number 7. This is published in 1953 by Fawcett. This book is really hard to find and not cheap at all. In fact, there's a restored raw copy for sale right now. It's going for $688. With that being said, the highest grade on the CGC census is a 9.0. There's one universal blue label. Coming in at number 6, we have Suspense Detective number 4. Five. This was published in 1953 by Fawcett, featuring such stories as There is Death in This Man's Hands, Save Me the Coffin is Closing, The Blind Witness, and He Rode with Fear. This is a great cover, great comic, hard to find. The highest grade on a census is currently one universal blue label, and it's a 9.4. And at 25, we have Crime Suspense Stories number 20. This was published in 1953 by EC Comics. Features a classic suicide cover by Johnny Craig. There's a crazy story in this issue called The Welchers where a mobster allows two brothers one day to come up with the money he owes them before he kills them. They decide to try to murder their rich diabetic uncle. They mess it up. One gives them sucrose while the other gives them double strength insulin which cancel each other out and the monster ends up killing them. There are currently two universal blue label 9.6 on the CGC census. Crime Patrol number 7, published in 1948 by EC Comics, covered by Johnny Craig. This features the first appearance of Captain Crime. Highest grade on the CGC census is a 9.4. There's currently two universal blue labels. And just recently, at the time of this video, a graded 5.5 sold for $369 on November 17th, 2018. Fight Against Crime number 10. This was published in 1952 by Story Comics. In this issue, escaped convict Tony Burke starts a new life in Florida and marries a wealthy woman. He scares her to death by locking her in with a big snake, but he overlooks the fact that the snake has laid eggs and that reptiles attack and kill him. Manhunt number two. This is published in 1947 by Magazine Enterprises. Cover art by Ogden Whitney. It's been reprinted in 2014 and 2015 by Boardman Books. Highest grade on the CGC census is an 8.5 and there's currently three universal blue labels. Crime Suspense Stories number 8, published in 1951 by EC Comics. Cover art by Johnny Craig. This featured a reprint in EC Classics number 8 in 1986 by Russ Cochran. And again in 1994 with the Crime Suspense Stories number 8 reprint. There are currently six universal 9.8 blue labels on the CGC census. This book also recently had three raw sales. There was one in July for $71, one in October for $89.88, and then one on the 11th of November for $79.78. 
Harvey Comics Library No. 1, published by Harvey in 1952. This book is said to expose the horrors of youth drug addiction as seen by Rex Morgan, M.D. It was also used in Seduction of the Innocent, which is a 1950s era book warning of the evils of comic books. There is one universal blue label that's a 9-0, which is the highest on the CGC census. Fighting Against Crime No. 16, published in 1953 by Story Comics, featuring a cover by Dick Beck. In this issue, Frank Heller shipwrecked with a party of five. He kills every one of them to survive with almost no food left. Heller's finally picked up by a cruise ship, the Lusitania, on her fateful last journey. Highest grade on the CGC census is a universal blue label. A graded 4.0 copy just sold in October for $310. Fight Against Crime No. 6. This was published in 1952 by Story Comics. Features a cover by Bill Fraccio. In one of the stories in this issue, Branson hires sea diver Jack Lewis to recover jewels from a sunken boat. The jewels are really smuggled drugs, and Branson drowns Lewis to keep him quiet. As Lewis sinks to the bottom, he vows revenge. This book is fairly hard to find, doesn't come up for sale very often. Highest grade on the CGC census is a 7-0, and there's one universal blue label. Fight Against Crime number 21, published in 1954 by Story Comics. This was the final issue of the series. There are currently three universal 8.0s on the CGC census. The last raw copy of this sold in June of 2018 for $70. Now, I don't know what the condition of that comic was, but to me, that's pretty much a steal. There's currently a very good copy in raw that's up for sale right now for $300. Famous Crimes number two, published in 1948 by Fox Feature Syndicate. Features a classic lingerie cover. Also in this story, amazing Dr. Holmes of this issue. There's a violent panel on page seven, shows a terrified woman dissolving in a vat of acid after a man throws her into it. There is currently one 8.5 universal blue label on the CGC census. Crime Mysteries number four, published in 1952 by Trojan Magazines, features a bondage and blood draining cover. One of the stories in this issue, titled Prayer Works Wonders, features art by the great Frank Fazetta. Highest grade on the CGC census is currently an 8.5 universal blue label. Crime Suspense Stories number 17, published in 1953 by EC Comics, has a super crazy suicide cover by Johnny Craig. Guy's blown his own brains out on the cover. This book also includes a story called Touch and Go, which was written by Ray Bradbury, famous sci-fi author. A raw copy of this comic recently sold in October 2018 for $305, and there are currently three 9.8 universal labels on the CGC census. Monster Crime Crimic Books, published by Hillman in 1952. This book is really hard to find. It's got a classic monster cover to it. At the time of this video, there's a raw copy in poor condition that's up for sale for $270. The highest grade on the census is at 9.0. There is one universal blue label. Law Against Crime number one. This was published in 1948 by S&K. Features an electric chair cover by L.B. Cole. Within it came the story Murder Came by Mail, also two humor strips. My guess is so you didn't think the book was too dark. There is currently a CGC 1.0 for sale and it's going for $625. And the highest grade on the census is 8.5 and there are two universal blue labels. Crime Does Not Pay number 43. This was published in 1946 by Lev Gleason. It features a bondage and knife stabbing cover by Charles Burrow. This also features a story titled Ghoul's Gold, which was later plagiarized in 1948 and a story titled Corpses, Cash and Carry, and a book named Exposed. This book isn't super hard to find. I do see a couple raw and graded copies for sale right now. Highest grade on the census is a 9.4, and there's one universal blue label. Manhunt number 14. This was published in 1953 by Magazine Enterprises. Features a cover by Dick Ayers. And the story, The Little Man Who Wasn't There, where Kirk pursues a thief who has perfected a shrinking formula. This was reprinted in 2014 by Boardman Books and A1 Comics, a retrospective number 143. The highest grade on the census is a 7-0 and there's one universal blue label. Crimes by Women number 3. This was published in 1948 by Fox Feature Syndicate. Features a fantastic bad girl crime cover. The cover text itself was actually quoted in Frederick Worthen's Seduction of the Innocent. 
and the highest grade on the CGC census is an 8.0 and there are currently two universal blue labels. Crimes by Women number six. This was published in 1949 by Fox Feature Syndicate. Features stories such as Irish immigrant Memphis May quickly establishing herself in the Chicago underworld with her murderous ways, and Arva Bowling builds a fortune on the backs of the people she murdered. Highest grade on the census is an 8.0 and there are currently three universal blue labels. Exposed number one. This was published in 1948 by DS Publishing. It has a great cover on it where a guy's strangling a girl with the Grim Reaper waiting in the background. I do not currently see any recent sales for this, but the highest grade on the census is an 8.0 and there's one universal blue label. Crime Does Not Pay number 33. This was published in 1944 by Lev Gleason. Features a cover by Charles Burrow. It was reprinted in 2012 by Dark Horse. And there are currently four 9.0 Universal Blue labels on the CGC census. True Crime Comics number three. This was published in 1948 by Magazine Village. It features a cover by Jack Cole. It was reprinted in 1986 by Eclipse and again in 2001 by Chronicle Books. And the highest grade on the census is an 8.5 and there are two Universal Blue labels. So there it is, folks. There's number 30 through number five of the top pre-code crime comics. If you want to see the final four, head over to comicbookinvest.com. Check out the article there. This is Brian Silverman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. And thank you for watching.